Hey, this is a screencast series called Vim on Alphabet. My name is Josh Branshaw, and this is episode 19 in the series. In this episode, we'll be looking at the square bracket characters. First off, if we are viewing a file, such as a readme, that contains file names, we can jump to those named files. For example, if I move my cursor over this file name here and hit open bracket F, it'll take me right there. I'll hit Control O to go back. As you can see, this is the same behavior as GF. Next, this is a handy feature for going on deep dive tours of the Vim help files. Let's open up the help files to see what I mean. As you read about a specific topic, you'll notice there are words highlighted in pink. These are tags, which reference the details of the topic they are tagging. Here we have one for tag match list. If you want to find out more about that, move your cursor over it and hit control close bracket. Doing that will take you to the entry for tag match list. And as you continue to find topics that interest you, you can continue to follow those topics by following the tags. Next, the bracket characters, when used with the C character, will allow you to navigate around to changes in a diff file. To see how that works, let's write and quit this session. Now I'll run vimdiff with 19.md and 19a.md. You can see there are some differences between these two files. If I hit close bracket C, I'm taken to the first diff. I can continue to hit close bracket C to jump to each diff in the buffer. I can then hit open bracket C to start navigating back through the diffs. This is particularly useful if you're looking at two versions of a large, sparsely changed file. You can easily skip past the stuff that hasn't changed. Let's quit this and go back to the main file for our next topic. Here we can use open bracket capital I to display all the lines with line numbers where the keyword under the cursor appears in the current file. This is a handy way to get a quick read on how many times a particular variable name shows up in a given code file. I'll add the word cursor here and then move my cursor to the middle of it. Hitting open bracket capital I opens up this prompt window with all occurrences of the word cursor. Last, I want to give honorable mention to a couple topics that were touched on in previous episodes. The square brackets can be used in pattern matching to define a custom character group. They can also be used with the star character to motion to the beginnings and endings of C-style block comments. That's it for this episode. Go ahead and check out the help files for more details and other uses of the brackets. In the next episode, we'll be looking at the backslash character.